Hey gamers, I get a lot of questions and emails about how exactly I get my video gameplay from my TV all the way to YouTube. So I'm going to do a two part series that the first part is going to look at all your different options that you have if you want to start recording your gameplay footage. And then the second part is going to be like a tips video uh, for starting in on YouTube and things to think about when you're making a video uh, primarily used for, for gaming. Uh, but you can really take these tips and use them in any video that you make for YouTube. So let's get started. In order to record your gameplay footage from a console, you're going to need a video game recorder. Now there's two primary types of recorders out there. You have a capture card, which is a actual hardware device that you install inside your computer. And one very popular one is the Blackmagic Pro Intensity Capture Card, and it's around $200. It uses the HDMI output, and it's going to be really good quality. And also, in the description box on the right, there is a link to a forum post that I've made where I go into all of these in greater detail and give you more tips. And there's also a whole community of people who do this exact thing, which is make gaming videos. So there's a, a big source of knowledge that you can tap into there. So if you have any questions or comments or you know have any input, I would suggest that you put them there. I encourage you to put comments on this video, but I don't get to always check all of the comments or reply to them. If you're not interested or comfortable with installing a piece of hardware inside your computer, there are several standalone recorders out there. Some of the more popular ones on the cheaper end are the EasyCap and the Dazzle. Now, both of these are good products if you're, if you're okay with playing in standard definition. One thing you have to think about when you go to get a recorder is, are, one, are you playing in high definition? And if you are, more than likely you're going to want to record in high definition. Uh, because some of these recorders do not allow you to record in high definition, nor do they allow you to play in high definition while you're recording. For HD recorders, there are two really large names out there. The first one is the Hava HD, and there are several different types. They have a Wi-Fi one, which I have. I have the uh, Hava HD Titanium Wi-Fi Recorder. It's really cool. I have a piece of software on my, my laptop that I can stop and start recording. Um, so then I take that footage and turn it on to my PC, and then I'm able to upload it. The Hava quality allows you to record in HD and play in HD, so it's really good. It can be a little aggravating at times setting it up and, and getting everything pro properly set. Another option that a lot of my friends have is the Hopog or Hoppage. I, don't, I really don't know how you say it. I've heard it pronounced every way. So anyway, it's a PVR and I, I can tell you this, if you're going to go with an HD standalone recorder, this is the one that I would suggest. And I've never used it, but I know a lot of my friends have it. They say it was an easy setup, easy process. It is not Wi-Fi, however, but in my opinion, the quality is the best that I've seen in a standalone recorder. So after you have your your recorder and you've got that all set out, you've done your research, got the right price point, Next, you're going to want to invest in a video editor. One recorder that is absolutely free if you're a PC user, which is Windows Movie Maker. And it's a good uh, editor and it's really powerful to be completely free. Uh, so this is a really good piece of software. It's really easy to use and I recommend it for people who have never done video editing before because it gets you used to it and gets you ready to go on to bigger products. My video editor of choice is the Sony Vegas Pro. Sony Vegas is a really good editor. It's kind of costly. It can be a little overwhelming at first. If you have never worked with a video editor, I highly suggest that you start out with a free one or a lower level one to get comfortable with it because Vegas has a lot of options. So once you get your video editor and you don't know how to use it, do a search on that particular editor and you'll find tons of different videos out there that will help you um, 
you know, learn how the software works and they're really good. Everything I learned, I learned from YouTube. So just keep searching. So that concludes part one. You now know that you have to go out, you have to get a recorder, and there's several different types to choose from. Remember, whether you're using standard definition or high definition, let that be a part of your choice. Of course, price point is always a, a big factor, so you have to factor those in. And then once you get your recorder, you're gonna need a good editor. So go out and check those out. And that concludes part one. Uh, you know, part two, we will go into the tips and things to think about when you're recording and what to record, how to put it together, and how to be successful on YouTube. Thanks.